Mahatma Gandhi once says, The Naga have every right to be independent. I believe in the brotherhood of men, but I do not believe in forced union. If you do not wish to join the Union of India, nobody will force you to do that. The Congress government will not do that. I will come to the Naga Hill and will ask them to shoot me. The first before once the Naga is shoot. The Nagas in the Indian Union In a memorandum to the Simon Commission in 1929, the representative of the Naga tribes demanded that the Naga be left free after the independence and not be included in the Indian Union. Ahead of the independence, a nine-point agreement was signed between the government of India and the Naga National Council. This included an experimental coexistence with India for a period of 10 years to be reviewed at the end of that period. While the Naga saw these provisions as temporarily with the right to self-determination after 10 years, the Naga historian says the government of India has interpreted that the trial period as an accession to the Indian Union. Independent Day celebrations The tallest leaders of the Naga struggle as it featured with Mahatma Gandhi in Delhi, 19 July 1947. According to the Naga historians, the Gandhi agreed that the Naga would celebrate their independence a day ahead of the Indian on August 14, 1947. To this day, the Naga across Nagaland celebrated 14 August as a Naga Independence Day. The Naga Flag In the Naga narrative passed down the generation by word of mouth, the Naga flag was not designed by a model but it is of divine origin. As Naga group battled the Indian armed forces, the legend calls Fiso and his closest colleagues has a vision, a rainbow and a startlingly blue sky that has appeared after a storm. A woman of Rengma tribes, one of the tribes under the Naga umbrella, was commissioned to whip the flag. It was hosted for the first time in Barasin and Rengma on March 22, 1956. The flag has a blue background representing the sky, a red, yellow and green rainbow edges across the center. The star of Bethlehem atop the top left corner of the flag. The Naga are predominantly Christians, where it stands today. The Naga flag remains a symbol of the Naga struggle for over 75 years of their religious faith, of the aspiration of the Naga people and of their identity. It helps bind all the different Nagas tribes together. Outside Nagaland state, in particular, the flag continued to elucidate strong emotions of identity from Nagas. Inside the state, common citizens are today divided on it. The certain sections believe that with the secessions from the Indian Union, they are no longer possible. The Naga flag has lost some of its relevance. Thank you so much, Kung Nalem, Nagaland. <laughs>